Tomorrow is the holiest day on the Jewish calendar, Yom Kippur, also known as the Day of Atonement. And starting at sunset tomorrow, Jews will begin a full day of fasting. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner shows us how some are preparing on the Upper West Side. It's definitely a time of reflecting on you know, what have I done in the past? Ethan Kramer's been reflecting for the last 40 days leading up to Yom Kippur's start on Wednesday. How do I want to be as far as observances and like what do I want to potentially take on this year? He and thousands of Jews across the world have been reading The 40 Day Challenge, a book of daily short tales authored by Upper West Side Rabbi Mark Wilds. And then there's a, a question, there's just a, a challenge question to sort of personalize the teaching so that it can serve as like a diary, a spiritual diary leading up to the high holidays. It incorporates stories of people like football star Tom Brady and his work ethic, President Abraham Lincoln's philosophy on anger, and violinist Yitzhak Perlman, who once lost a string in the middle of a concert and kept playing. He said, our task is to make music with what remains. And I think that's such a great lesson for life, because we're always complaining, if I only had this, if I only had that, then I'd be happy. During Yom Kippur, Jews fast and ask God for forgiveness. It's a day of second chances. Families have a big meal before sundown Wednesday to prepare. It's stuffed cabbage time. Shlomo Klein, co-founder of Fleischig's Magazine, says a traditional pre-fast meal includes stuffed cabbage, which is also on the magazine's new recipe app. The dough or the cabbage represents um, more, um, in, in, in this case, kindness. And we're basically wrapping the meat, which is the, the severity, with something kind of with something kind or neutral, if you want to call it, because we're basically it's a time of judgment. We want our judgment to go favor favorably. And for the breaking of the fast at nightfall Thursday, it's very traditional to eat bagels and lox and cream cheese. It's like just like you got to have that schmear. And here at the Lincoln Square Synagogue, one of the most sacred prayers of the holiday will be held outside and open to the public. Somebody suggested, a member of the community is not yet ready to come to services on Yom Kippur, asked if we could do outdoor yizker. We actually recite prayers to commemorate the victims of the Holocaust. We recite prayers on behalf of all those who fell in service of this country. Cantor Yaakov Lemmer will lead the solemn prayer on the sidewalk or if it rains under the scaffolding on Amsterdam Avenue. The rabbi says the healthiest thing one can do is confess, make good with the people in life one has wronged, and ask for second chances. On the Upper West Side, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News.